Hey everyone, welcome back to the Next DIY channel. In today's video, we're going to be discussing some preseason lawn applications that you can be doing right before spring. But first, let me introduce myself. My name is Eric Covington, and I am the creator behind the lawn channel RVA Lawn Love. You might recognize me from a video about this time last spring uh, when I did an interview with Paul over the phone and he gave me a lawn plan for the year. And I kind of told the story on my lawn and the adventure it had been through and my seeding of it, which was fall of 2018. So last year was my first full year having my lawn. So here's a couple quick pictures of what my lawn went through last year and uh, how it ended up last fall, heading into winter. <laughs> All right, so let's get down to business. Preseason applications to your lawn like this are important because it's a good way to get the soil ready and give it a good jump start. That way it has everything it needs inside of it to utilize the nutrients that we're gonna be putting into it throughout the season. Along with a couple of the products from the next line, I'm also gonna be adding prodiamine to the tank mix today. And go ahead and get my pre-emergent in as well. It's kind of a time saver. You can actually do three applications in one. I can get some humic acid out, aerate the lawn for spring, which is gonna help water and oxygen drive uh, deeper into the soil, and I can get my pre-emergent down and prevent crabgrass for, for the year. Doing a split application, so stay tuned for details on that. All right, now the products I'm using today are Humic 12, Air 8, and Prodiamine WDG. Now Humic 12 has many benefits for your soil. Some of these benefits include improved root growth, improved chlorophyll development, and improved nutrient uptake. You end up with an overall improved soil structure, which leads to improved plant quality. And why wouldn't we want that? Beautiful lawn. Now, Humic 12 can be applied to your lawn at any time during the growing season, about once a month at three to nine ounces per thousand square feet. Aerate, it is a liquid aeration product. It is a 005, meaning it has 5% potash in it, which is great for stress relief in your soil coming out of winter. Now, just so you know, since I am putting this down with my pre-emergent, the liquid aerate does not affect your pre-emergent barrier whatsoever. The aerate is gonna break up and loosen up the topsoil. Uh, it cracks, makes fissures in it, therefore making space for air, water, and nutrients to dive down deeper into the soil, which the roots are gonna drive down deeper since the soil is looser and get down to nutrients that it normally can't uptake. So both of these products, especially together, are gonna to make all of our other inputs throughout the year much more efficient, therefore saving us money. And with the air rate, it can be applied anytime during the growing season, about once a month as well. And the air rate is six to nine ounces per application. Last year, the plan that Paul put me on had me putting down each item in the BioStim pack, which included these two, at three ounces per product per thousand square feet once a month and I had fantastic results. So you can follow that as well. No harm, no foul. Now with the prodiamine, I'm putting that into the tank mix as well. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna prevent crabgrass and some other weeds from invading this spring and summer. Um, nothing I can do about the weeds that are there but kill them now. This is not a post-emergent herbicide. This is a pre-emergent herbicide. So I'm, you're trying to get the weeds before they emerge pre-emergent. Like I said, I am doing a split app. So I am doing four months worth of protection now. And then, and, and this is right before March. Uh, and then at the end of April, I'm gonna do another four month. So I'll be kind of in the peak of my protection of that prodiamine, getting ready to start heading down my protection. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pump it full again with a second application, which will carry me through the summer. Now be careful with your timing, pay attention to how many months protection you're getting. So since I'm going at the end of April, that means it'll last me through August, which means that my barrier will be gone in September, which is just in time for aerating or liquid aerating and overseeding the lawn come fall time. I was trying to get some drone footage today and I had to 
accident. <laughs> Oops. Now, finding out how much per diamine to use can be kind of confusing, so I used Grass Daddy's app. You just enter in the square footage, how many months control you want, what type of lawn you have, and then hit calculate, and it gives you the exact amount that you need for your application. Now it's not really necessary with the next products to wear all the PPE, but since we do have pre-emergent in here, long sleeves, gloves, rubber boots on, long pants. And another thing, I cut the grass before I spray, uh, maybe not the day of, but sometimes the day before. And I find that following my tracks helps me, I get good overlap and uh, even coverage across my yard. So just a tip might help you out.
All right, that's it. All that's left to do now is water it in with about a half inch of water. So I'm gonna go over with the hose real quick because my irrigation's not running and it's still the middle of February. And uh, we have rain coming the next couple days. So that'll go ahead and get it in for me. It is now Tuesday and the rain has subsided. So everything is properly watered in. Good enough for government work. All right, so in summary, this is a fantastic way to get back out into your lawn this season. It's early, everybody's got the itch. I know I enjoyed myself. It's a great way to get a jump start on your soil health for the season. Keep the soil healthy so it can retain moisture, uh, keep away the drought stress out of the lawn, and it can function like it's supposed to. We want our soil to work for us. So this is a great way to go ahead and get it happy now so we don't have to fight to try to make it happy later. Last year, like I said, I applied both of these products at three ounces per thousand square feet monthly. Had fantastic results. At one point, the heat did dry me up a little bit and I did the compaction cure. Probably have a video on that later on in the season, so be looking out for that. But that, that loosened things right on up. Got water percolating through the ground again like it was supposed to. The yard bounced back and actually in the middle of August on our heat wave is when my yard was probably looking the best during the summer. So, it works. Like I said, my next step of prodiamine will be in late April. I'll give another four months of protection on that and take me through the rest of the summer and be out just in time for me to do uh, some overseeding in the fall. Make sure you stay tuned to the next DIY channel. Many more videos to come from me and a bunch of other great creators this season. Uh, pretty, pretty cool thing that John's put together. Uh, hopefully, you guys are enjoying this. I know I had fun doing this. Um, and from what I hear, other guys in the community are having fun doing this as well. So uh, make sure you stay tuned. A lot of great content coming. As for me, I know my next lawn application is going to be some fertilizer. I'm getting ready to go on vacation for a week, but when I come back, it's go time. Don't forget to head on over to my channel as well, RVA Lawn Love. Subscribe, hit that bell for instant notifications on future videos. Um, also, give this video a thumbs up if you learned anything, if you liked it, and if you're looking forward to more, leave a comment down below. Looking forward to hearing what you guys have to say. So, for next DIY, I'm Eric. Till next time, peace.